Welcome to another update for Force 13 of what is now X Tropical Cyclone 18S uh, Edia. And we uh, open this update with a look in back at the 24-30 hours prior to the uh, cyclone making landfall. Rescue teams from South Africa have already started arriving in Maputo in Mozambique. We are currently at the Lenmed Maputo Private Hospital where some of these team members are now planning their strategy for tomorrow and that is when the cyclone is expected to hit some parts of Mozambique. Now earlier in the week the country has already been hit by floods which have claimed the lives of at least 66 people and affected about 141,000 others and it sounds like the cyclone is going to cause much more damage than that when it eventually makes landfall later this week. Behind me are gentlemen from IPSS and I've got Paul Herbst here. Paul, you were just talking to the National Disaster Coordinator a little while ago. What is the latest word in terms of the evacuation plans that are in place? So currently there's an evacuation plan put in place together with the UN and, and the local government. Um, they've obviously also asked assistance from um, you know, a neighboring country, South Africa, so we got involved. Uh, his current count is 66 has been uh, has, has, is dead currently from uh, the uh, Beira side. And they've got a count of 640,000 that will be affected from the current cyclone coming in that should hit landfall on tomorrow. So um, that's a big number, and, and obviously, even if this had to happen in the essay with that big number, you, you could understand the amounts of personnel that we needed to get the word out there for it. So there is a daunting task awaiting us. Um, exactly, and that's about a thousand kilometers away from where we are at the moment. That, that's correct. Yeah, I'd say about a thousand, thousand one hundred kilometers away to get to the center of of, of Baira. Um, and and the new intel coming from the storm, the storm has been upgraded again to Category Four, um, with uh, still three hundred and fifty to four hundred mills of rain and gusting winds of 263 kilometers an hour. So it, 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 is, it, is a, it, it now is looking very surreal to what's going to happen. There are still other team members that are going to join us, but just tell me what kind of capabilities do we have here collectively? So currently, um, from the IPS's medical rescue side, as well as Etiquini Fire, uh, we have uh, two boats, two jet skis, uh, multiple uh, rescue, uh, aquatic rescue equipment, and obviously uh, high angle and confined space rescue equipment. Uh, the, uh A special thank you to Dassen. Uh, apology for the pronunciation for allowing access uh, to his reports. And Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has finalised their position that, uh, six hours ago. They have a 19 decimal 6 degrees south, 34 decimal 8 degrees east. It's about 340 nautical miles west northwest of Europa. And Matteo France, La Reunion, now have it as a tropical depression. Central pressure is 994 millibars. Uh, 65 kilometres an hour and I think gusting 85 kilometres an hour they have a 19 decimal 2 degrees south 33 decimal 5 degrees east and it's tracking west northwest at 13 kilometres an hour and unfortunately there's uh, not much uh, information that I can bring to you and uh, this is the life of the uh, tropical cyclone. Unfortunately, the news that I've cited just prior to doing this update, there's about half a million of people, I think around the Bira uh, region, uh, in difficulty. Uh, it appears there's no electricity and to our viewers, it would be appreciated if there's anyone on the local or in the local area, you can uh, post the information uh, in the feedback under our video. 
Now this is a look at the wind shear, the reds unfavourable, greens are favourable. And whilst uh, the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has, has the ex-cyclone remnants, uh, we still have uh, quite a bit of other activity. Uh, we've got a tropical cyclone formation alert for 92p and also a CO3W up there in the West Pack. Stay tuned to our channel. We will have updates on the other systems. Here's a look at a couple of models. Look at the microwave imagery of the X cyclone on approaching the coastline. And finally, in this update, here's a look at the precipitation outlook. Uh, caution needs to be applied when viewing non official uh, weather information as the information does change. The precipitation scale is at the bottom of the screen and it's the area in yellow through to dark brown. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13 on Facebook under the same name Force13 and our Twitter handle it's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord Fool13 at extension 9094